Hello everyone, AZ here and in this video tutorial, we will be learning about warp stabilizer and how you can remove jitter caused by your camera movements, making it possible to transform shaky handheld footage into smooth steady shots. So let's jump in. Here we are in Premiere Pro and as you can see I already have a shaky video clip onto my timeline. And the first thing we're going to do is go over to effects up at the top and search for warp stabilizer. You will find it under the distort folder. Click and drag it on top of your video clip. Now depending on your video this will take few minutes to analyze and stabilize and once it is finished you can play the video and see the difference. So this is before and this is after. Now if you're still not happy with your footage, you can go over to your effects control on the left and under warp stabilizer, you can increase the smoothness. Now remember doing this will also increase the crop. As for result, you get two options, smooth motion and no motion. Smooth motion retains the original camera movement and it makes it smoother. No motion will attempt to remove all the camera motion from the shot. Method specifies the most complex operation the st warp stabilizer performs on your footage. So here you get four options. Position means it only uses position data to stabilize your footage. Position, scale and rotation mean means it uses all three. Perspective uses a type of stabilization in which the entire frame is effectively corner pinned and subspace warp attempts to warp various parts of the frame differently to stabilize the entire frame. This is chosen as a default so if you don't want to mess around with these changes, I would recommend to just keep it at subspace warp. Now for framing, you get four options. Stabilize only will display the entire frame including the moving edges. Stabilize crop will crop the moving edges without scaling. Stabilize crop and auto scale will crop the moving edges and scale up the image to refill the frame. If you're new to this, I would recommend this approach. And at last, stabilize synthesize edges will fill in the blank space created by the moving edges with content from frames earlier and later in the frame. And we're not going to go over advanced settings, that is a video for another time. But overall, this should be enough to stabilize your video and make your shot look smooth and steady. As always, if you got any value out of this, please like and leave a subscribe down below. And as for all my followers, I really appreciate you guys supporting small YouTubers like me to help and grow. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer them. See you next week.